Hello everyone, welcome to the Gap East Tech YouTube channel. This is the fifth video of PSPICE tutorials and we keep learning how to use PSPICE together. And today we will do a DCC web simulation by using the same circuit in the last video. Ok, let's get started. In the configuration I have only added inputs and output node names and a current direction arrow. That's it. To make those operations, you, you can click end button to add a node name. Also, uh, to make this arrow, you can come to the line of line command. Here, the line command. You can uh, draw anything you like, and you can uh, obtain a current direction arrow thanks to this. Also, if you want to add a text anywhere in this in your circuit, you can only click T, and when you click when you press T, uh, the te place text uh, toolbar is going to come. Uh, okay, that's it. Today we will do a DCC group analysis, and let's get started. Okay, uh, we have to we have to first create a new simulation profile. Okay, and give your give a name to your simulation. I will give DC sweep five because this is a five, fifth video. You can give another name if you want. It doesn't matter. Okay, when you create this, the window pop up is coming, and select a piece by A and D, and click OK. In the simulation settings toolbar, you should select analysis type, and we are going to select the DC sweep because we are using, uh, sorry, we are going to do a sweep DC sweep analysis. Okay, you should select a sweep variable, and today we will selecting we are selecting voltage one uh, as our sweep variable. Okay, start value is zero volt, and end value is twenty volt, and also increment value is zero point one. Okay, to make a good analyst, you should select your increment value as small as possible. Okay, and after the click OK. Okay, now we are ready to run our simulation. To run your simulation, you can click F11 or you can do this operation in the toolbar. Okay, opening the analyst uh, screen. Okay, as you see, the graph is coming um, with nothing. You should select something. You should add something to draw your graphs. Okay, um, to draw a graph to your uh, simulation profile, you should add some traces to your circuits. Come to the trace place to insert your graphs. Okay, click add trace and select V out and V in. We have added node names to our circuits to make it uh, more much easier. Okay, you see that there are different names. We see one, one. We see one, two. We give a name to our nodes to make our operations easy, to make our per project much more easier. Okay, and after that, click OK. As you can see, it is coming, and your this is your graph. Um, X axis is uh, zero zero volts. To up to 20 volt and y axis is also the same 0 volt to up to 20 volt and um, also I should say that there is another way to do the same operation I am closing this one and I will do another I will do my second method okay we are going to use voltage markers to make the same operation okay insert your first uh, voltage marker here and the second one here and escape the only thing you ha you have to do is that to click run and you will see this the graph easily. You don't have to add any any kind of traces to your circuits. Okay, the same configurations. You see. Okay, uh, I will also say another thing here: uh, cursor methods. And by using cursor, you can give you can make some analysis. And for example, you can you you can you can see the V out and V in there. There are uh, how how much uh, voltage difference there are. By using the uh, cursor operation, you can do this. This is our cursor. You can move your cursor right to the left easily and up to the down. Okay, you see that uh, in the bottom um, there are some values and the values are changing. Okay, you can make uh, detailed analysis by using cursor. Okay, that's enough for today and see you in the next video.